made it to Christmas. So exciting, so, so exciting. Um, I'm so happy to be back with you here after Christmas. Well, now that we're in the mystery of Christmas, because if you remember, we talked about Christmas is too big of, a, of a, an exciting mystery. We can't just have it on one day. Yes, Christmas day is on the 25th, but the mystery of Christmas lasts for 12 days. So if I'm correct, burp, we're still in the mystery of Christmas. Oh yeah. Everything is so mysterious. Oh my goodness. So I'm very excited to be here with you today. Uh, I hope that you had the most wonderful Christmas day and that working through all of Advent really got us ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. And now we're here, here in the mystery, which is very exciting. So there's lots of things that are really exciting that are happening. If you remember, everyone was going to meet the baby Jesus, but someone was late. Some people were late and they're always late. So maybe they've made it. And if they've made it to see the baby Jesus, then other things are gonna happen. Oh boy, this is so exciting. Okay. So to celebrate the Three Kings, the Magi coming to the baby Jesus, we're gonna sing one of my more favorite, uh, you know, Christmas epiphany type songs. Uh, so let's do that. Let's look at it, here we go. You may have heard this song before. Um, uh, we're gonna sing a little bit of it today. And then you're gonna hear a story about them. Here we go. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star Born a king on Bethlehem's plain Gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never. Over us yonder reign. Frankincense I offer have I. Incense owns a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, all men raising, worship him, God on high. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us thy perfect light. Come on, we three kings. We're gonna hear more about them in just a little bit. So friends, what an exciting day. Um, I'm excited to tell you this story uh, because it's a really fun one. And I'm also excited for you to do a craft. Now we're about to do a craft, right? Now if you're watching this and you're like, I wanna do the craft with you, but I don't have the craft materials. Well, hit pause and then go to the link in our description. And there's a PDF there that tells you all the materials that you're gonna need and the instructions on how to do it. So if you wanna follow along with the craft, but you don't have the materials with you right now, press pause, go get them together and hit play. And here in just a second, Miss Gabriella is gonna make a craft with you. Ah, whoa, I love our time together. This is so much fun. I'm so glad to be here with you and I'll see you in just a second for our story. Welcome, this is Crafting Time with Miss Gabriela, and today I have a craft prepared for you. We're going to be using material, a material that we have not used before, so let's get started. 
So the materials that we will be using for our cra craft today are um, our Epiphany craft kit, Mr. Glue Stick. We will be using Mr. Sketch scented sticks, scented markers as well as our classic glitter glue pens. And, drum roll, brrr, a new material that we have not used before. You can find it in your craft uh, box that was sent in the month of December. And there's these three sticks that are curious looking. They're called paint sticks. Because they're used. Are you ready for this? Let's start. So first we make sure we have all of our materials. Um, these are the materials that were inside the Epiphany Craft Kit, which are three felt crowns, two pieces of fabric, two very cute pieces of... Um, these are felt beards and sparkly sequence those this is the materials that were inside the craft kit now in your Christmas box of December we included the three uh, paint sticks so let's start what I'm gonna do is apply Mr. Glue Stick to the back of our crown. So we start positioning our crowns first. Based upon the spacing that we have and how we position our crowns, then we can start adding the rest, like the beard and the eyes of our wise man. Okay, so kind of think about how you would like to portray your wise men. Think about these being the neck of the wise men and these being the body. Okay, so face, neck, you see this curve, and then body. Okay, so if I put the crown towards the middle, then there's a little space for the face. So I'm gonna keep it towards the top perhaps the width of my pinky all the way in okay and I'm gonna be gluing the rest of my belt crowns now that we have glued all the crowns to our wise man now we're gonna be adding glue to the uh, felt beers in order to Glue them on the face of our wise man. And now remember, we try to think of this as the neck. This is the face. So kind of look for your spot, your happy spot. Once the beards are in place, we are going to use our strips of fabric to create a, a scarf effect for our wise man. So we're just simply gonna tie it. Once we have tied the scarves and we have all of our felt materials glued, we're gonna start coloring the bodies. And this part is super fun uh, because you get to design their wardrobe. I'm going to be using a combination of orange and blue for this fellow here. I am using my Epiphany Craft Kit underneath so as to not leave stains on my desk. And you just simply color away. And I'm going to highlight the effect with black so it's super slow and steady kind of <laughs> and then I add a little belt and 
some sparkles. No wise man. Pants. And wise man, I am thinking of drawing a t-shirt. Something that looks like a t-shirt. With red stripes. Remember you can pause at any time. This is your time. To enjoy and to express your creativity. So now that I've been done with the with two wise men, I'm gonna move towards my third one. And remember, this is very free. You get to pick the patterns and the colors you use with your wise man. But a little trick uh, that I think is worth mentioning, it's visual interest between the characters, right? So in this case, for example, I use a belt in my first wise man and a longer, longer legs for the pants. In my second wise man, I use stripes for the top a long torso relatively to the bottom um, and the pants are made of elastic <laughs> they don't have a belt okay and for my third wise man I am going to be um, drawing a tunic okay once you have colored the wardrobe color and design the wardrobe of your three kings we are going to get into a super fun part and that's drawing their faces, okay? So, remember that little subtleties in spacing, um, little subtleties in spacing of the eyes to the space between the eyes and the nose, if you wanted to add a nose. All of those things give different expressions, okay? And in our last steps, we're gonna decorate right so i'm thinking of applying um, silver um, glue pen to the top to continue to add more sparkle and visual interest okay and then I'm, i would like to add sequins to my third wise man i wonder what you will do once we have um, drawn the faces, then we moved on to add glue to our wise men so that we can add the sequins. Make sure uh, so that this actually sticks in that you add lots and lots of glue. Look at what we have made together. These three wise men, the three kings. I wonder how you will share them with family and friends. I'm really looking forward to our next craft. Welcome back. How was your craft time? Can I see your can I see your wise men? This oh, oh, they're so beautiful. Hello, I'm a wise man. Oh, hello, sir. What are you doing? I'm coming to see the baby Jesus. Really? That's great. I'm gonna tell a story about you. Really? Yeah, really. Wow, that's so cool! Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'm so excited! Ah! Wow, I'm pretty excited too, but you know, it's just a little story. I know, it's so exciting! Ah! Whoa, dude. All right, well, hang out tight and I'm gonna tell a story. Wait, do you wanna see your friends? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, okay. Show me your sticks! Ooh, yes, that's so cool. Amazing! Let me see yours. Uh-huh. Ooh. Whoa. Those kings are cool. Wow. Y'all are so good at art. Ugh. I love this part of the story. All right. Now, friends, here's the story. So like the last lesson, th those helped us get ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. But the magi... The, the three kings, the wise ones, they've just arrived, or will technically arrive in a few days. So today, we celebrate the Feast of Epiphany. The day we welcome the three kings and remember the three important gifts that they brought to the Christ child. Now, here 
You remember these, the light of the prophets. This is the light of the Holy Family. This is the light of the shepherds. Or yes, this is the light of the Magi. I promise this one's pink, I promise. And then here is the light of Christ. Now the Magi are finally here with their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And they brought gold. Now gold is for kings, but this is a different kind of king. So gold is not enough for this king. They also brought frankincense. Now frankincense is for worship. The Magi were there to worship him. Frankincense is a, a spice that's often burned during worship. And when it burns, it makes a sweet smelling smoke to help us pray. They also brought myrrh. Myrrh is sometimes burned at funerals and it's sometimes placed with the dead for their burial. But there was something about this baby's death that was going to be really important. Now, the smell of myrrh is very different from frankincense. Some people like one and some people like the other. They're both important gifts to show that this king was not to be like other kings. So let me change the light as we did before. you can see the light is changing. It's filling up the room and getting thinner and thinner until it spreads across the whole room and you can't see it anymore. Now, I'm gonna change the light of the Christ candle. Are you ready? Actually, I wanna look at it first. Ooh, let's enjoy the light. The light from the Christ candle is also changing, getting thinner and thinner. The smoke is filling up the room. Now it's spreading out, mixing with the light of the prophets and the Holy Family and the Magi. And as it gets thinner and thinner, you can't see it, but that doesn't mean that it's gone. It only means that you can't see it. Now you can still feel the mystery of Christmas. Epiphany is sometimes called Little Christmas. It's filling up the room, mixing with the light of the prophets, the Holy Family, the shepherds, and the Magi. And anywhere you go in a room like that, you can come close to the whole mystery of Christmas. Whoa, friends, this is such an exciting and important story. The king has come. The mystery of Christmas is here. And so I'm so excited that we get to celebrate the coming of this king to the earth. Thinking about what the shepherds and the, the magi and everyone came to celebrate the birth of this little baby. But this little baby was a different kind of king. Someone who would grow up to be someone very important. Because sometimes small things can grow up to be huge, wonderful, great things. I wonder if that's part of the mystery of Christmas. Wow, this is so exciting. I hope that you guys have fun talking about this on Sunday. I am so glad to be with you here today. Uh, and I want you to know that you are deeply, deeply loved. If you're watching this video, no matter who you are, old or small, you're loved. You're deeply, deeply loved and you're important. I'm so excited to be here with you. So, sending you virtual hugs. And I'll see you next week.